All right, so forgive me as I'm looking a little bit rough. Um, I didn't take my eye makeup off last night before I went to bed. And it's looking a little crazy this morning, but I don't really care. Um, so I'm just up early as usual, and I'm just waiting for the mat. I'm going to get ready here and head to the magistrate's office when they open. Get this civil lawsuit happening today um, with my dog. And I was just thinking about the whole dog situation and the whole situation. And honestly, it's like you want to give people the benefit of the doubt. That is me. And I, and I will give people the benefit of the doubt over and over, which is why I ended up staying in a bad relationship for so long. And... All my friends in Ohio and my family um, know that I was basically like planning on leaving Gina like our entire marriage because it was bad and I did leave them and me and the kids did come back to Ohio um, two different times um, but it was just too much for me with little kids and we you know obviously he was not paying me child support or anything of, of that um, and then I came back. So, I mean, now that my kids are older and he only wanted them every other Saturday night is just insane. But regardless, um, giving people the benefit of the doubt. So when I first started moving here or when I first started living here and going to see Dr. Fishman as my chiropractor, um, Jen... I, you know, Jen is someone who I also first met when I moved here. Well, so is Dr. Fishman. Jen also knows Dr. Fishman because Cammie, who her husband had sex with and who Gino had sex with, um, Jen's husband and Gino both had sex with Cammie Collins. Um, <coughs> she's, she's disgusting, but she, she was Dr. Fishman's massage therapist for many many years until elizabeth came along and then elizabeth got rid of cammy real quick um so elizabeth is dr fishman's girlfriend the pretend wannabe therapist who does videos like me every single day for hours and hours and hours and she's she's been doing this for years and i'm not sure that i know that she has tons and tons and tons of fake fans because um we used to be really good friends, so I know. But anyway, so Dr. Fishman, when I first met Dr. Fishman, Jen was like, no. Nah. You know, she's giving me the 411, the scoop, because that's what she does with everyone in their business. But whatever. I mean, hey, if you're going to post stuff on Facebook, I've learned firsthand. There's no turning back. I mean, obviously, you can take it down, but if people have it, there's no turning back, right? Um that's fine for me. I don't, I just, I don't care. Like once you're 42 and you've gone through all of this shit, like you just do not care. You do not care anymore <laughs> about a lot of things except, you know, your kids and surviving and you don't have time for assholes. But anyways, so Jen shows me a picture of Dr. Fishman, <coughs> excuse me, who, um, was buck naked he posted this on his fa Facebook. He was completely buck naked and was wearing a cowboy hat and was with some woman that was also naked. <laughs> and he posted it on Facebook. So anyways, um, so she watched Dr. Fishman and Elizabeth steal my dog and she did try to help me get my dog back, Jen. But she knows like what Elizabeth told police and what worked. And so like she's like she's doing, well, she's, She's calling the police on me for no reason because she's afraid that I'm going to fucking call the police because she has my dog. So she's trying to act like she's had the dog for months and months and months, um, which is not fucking true. Um, yes, they did have Bell for however many months that I was in jail, but that was not the plan. I mean, I wrote them letters in jail. Could not wait to get Bell when I got out of jail. Like, I was so looking forward to getting my little dog, Bell. And where is she? And what happened? If she was sold, if she's still hiding in Elizabeth's bedroom, 
you know, I don't really know, but I would like Belle back and I would like Romeo return to me. Romeo is in, in going through a grieving process of not of losing my dad and then getting reunited with me and my children and now living with someone who doesn't feed their dog. And I was concerned when I was letting her watch Romeo, but I figured she's not that fucking dumb to do that to my dog too, which why wouldn't she? If you're going to starve one dog to death, why wouldn't you starve two? Um, so anyways, I'm going to Conway's today. He's the magistrate here in town. And another thing I'm going to ask Conway, I've already asked him this, his secretaries or his front desk, whoever. He, I asked to get, you know, I buy all these transcripts, which I am going to buy the transcript from the last emergency hearing because I talked to my other attorney friend, Roy, who I have not mentioned through this, but I talked to him last night. Okay, so that's another that's another story. I've got a million things going on in my brain here. But when I called Conway's office, because that's where my charges were increased by Gina from simple assault to strangulation, I of course, I wanted that. I wanted that court transcript, and I tried to get it because, honestly, he tells two totally different stories on the stand that day and then at our PFA hearing. <coughs> Excuse me. But they told me... Conway's office that they do have no recording of the court hearing that day none nothing was recorded well I've told since I've told other attorneys this and they say that's an absolute lie that by law they have to record it somehow record it by you know hit record have someone transcribing there um, by law they have to so I'm going to ask them again when I go there today to properly get my paperwork to try to start a civil lawsuit to get my dog back, which I already did this. So here's the pathonotary office fucking with me again. I already did this for Belle. And then they sent me months later, which I'm not, I am following up on, on this one. I'm not letting them just let it sit for months and then send me a vague letter telling me I did it I filled it out wrong well I filled it out exactly how your little secretaries in your office told me to fill it out completed it submitted it um so I'm going to do it again what I have learned here is what practice makes perfect you get better as you do things so I'm going to you know take my dog tags for Romeo that I just recently purchased at um Westmoreland County Courthouse I have his rabies shots from when he was little. I have pictures of him when living with my dad. I have pictures of him, me getting him from my dad's house. I have pictures when he lived with me and my kids in Gino. And I have pictures of him at my house um, just here, I think posted online. The last ones were maybe in October. So we move forward with the dog thieves. Um, and she, like I said, she watched what Dr. Fishman and Elizabeth did to me, Jen. And so then she decided she would do the same thing. <coughs> she would do the same thing and just do what they did. But I mean, what a fucking low life scumbag, scumbag of the earth. Like, please. Like, anyways. Um, so, but with Belle, that was just an opportunity to get me out. Because me and Dr. Fishman had this relationship and then he starts, and I'm working for him, and he starts dating this Elizabeth. And then I start helping her get, teach her how to refer people for medical marijuana. And I'm referring people to her to get referrals for medical marijuana. And we're all friends. Hey, look at my 40th birthday. That's who I was out with. And then what, a month and a half later is when these charges come out. And I was communicating with Elizabeth and Dr. Fishman the whole time while I was on, on the run, um, Elizabeth is texting me to keep doing my videos that they are going to make a beautiful memoir someday. Well, I don't know about how beautiful, but beautiful trauma, I guess, that like that song. Um, but yeah, so these, I mean, these are the people that, I don't know, how do I get these people in my life? I don't care. I, I don't care, but if they fuck me over, they're gonna get called out. 
and my, my attorney friend Roy, he already told me, do not file this recusal. <coughs> Only brave attorneys will tell you to file a recusal. Well, most attorneys are not really brave when it comes to the judge, I've learned. They're not brave because even if the judge is corrupt, they do not care about your case as much as you do. And they are not going to most likely go up against any judge um, because they don't want to fuck with their career and their reputation. Whereas me, I mean, you ruined my whole life, judge, so I have to do something. But I talked to him again last night because I've been avoiding him since he sat me down and was like, it's not going to work. And blah blah blah. <coughs> well, I told him I did it anyway, and what I'm going to proceed doing next, and um, and that I have to, because and he's like basically like he understands like this judge is wrong. I am a great mom. Like these things happen, but they're really hard to prove. So this is why I have I am going to send over today my little application to Bobby Weaver, Bobby Joe Weaver. Um, for my last transcript that, um, to order my last transcript for my last emergency hearing, because right there, like, I just, that's another lie. That's just solid proof lie of the judge lying in court and antagonizing me. And he said that may be helpful. Um, but, and he said, even if she does lie in court and, talk abusive to me um and do all these crazy things which has in turn created this mom who is out here <laughs> just trying to make it work all right i'm just trying to survive and make it work but basically i might be able to prove something, but it's really hard with a judge and they can basically get away with whatever. And yes, it's unfair and it's wrong. And there are horrible judges and they do make deals and conspire with other people like has how has happened to me. Um, but basically, you know, well, I guess if you would have known this is going to happen to you, you know, um, but we don't know, but these things can happen and they do happen and they happen a lot in Westmoreland County and this judge's chambers and they happen particularly to women. Good moms, the shitty moms. She actually made, has a news article out there, Judge Benoni, because she gave like a mom, I forget the story, but she's a horrible mom and she, this mom is getting more custody time with her kid per week than I am. I've never harmed my kid. And it, it created public outrage that they allowed this abusive mom to have time with her kids. I forget what happened, if she abused him again. But so if she's going to give time, it's going to be to the undeserved is what basically what I'm saying. And she hates women. So the one woman she's done this to as well is a doc was a doctor's wife. So, you know, we got the doctor, money. Um, pain, and he has all kinds of connections, lots of connections, um, because I may have told you how he hangs out with the judges and attorneys um, that hang out at the club, so this doctor. So anyways, hates the doctor's wife, never see your daughter again, and neither can your parents. Um, and then I met an attorney slash therapist in jail, and she told me that the judge did the same thing to her and stole her girls. So an attorney slash therapist who works at the jail, doctor's wife, me, stay at home, mom, all wonderful, wonderful moms who love their children and were great moms who are beautiful, successful women or married to someone successful. I have mafia success. So I'll do a tutorial later on Gina and his life. So anyways, I'm just rambling, but I am going to get the transcript to prove the lies that the judge just lied about in our emergency hearing. Just straight up lie on the stand. Lie, lie, lie. Um, and then that'll be something that I will use um, as part of my exhibit. And that'll be something, or as one of my exhibits for my future recusal. And it'll be something that I use to turn into the attorney general. 
Um, and I mean, I can also always resubmit these things to the Judicial Misconduct Board um, as well. So not backing down, not going down without a fight, obviously, but the man, Gino, the man can just give me my kids back at any time. Judge Benoni has made this very clear. Adam, the guardian, has made this clear, and so has his attorney, Gina's attorney. Um, but we have a man here who is desperate to control and destroy my life, and that's why we have Melissa screaming like a banshee. Um, he loves me. He loves me. Well, if he loved you, if he loved anyone, he would never do these things to his children or to the mother of his children. He would not, okay? So if he loved you, he wouldn't be completely obsessed living every second of his life looking at the children I birthed and raised and keeping them from me because he loves you? No. He's out to ruin my whole life. We're not getting back together because the man said I strangled him. Okay? We are never getting back together. He knows this. And now he's going to fucking ruin and destroy mine and my kids' lives forever. He don't love you, dummy. He loves me. It's not love. It's some crazy mental obsession. But <laughs> he loves me. He loves me. I mean, this is an abusive man who has abused me and is abusing my children. Well, she's an abusive woman. So, if I was an abusive person, I would have fucking, <laughs> you may even want to know. I mean, I've obviously already been fucking punched in the head by this bitch and did nothing because I have no desire to fight you. Um, I'm getting kicked around physically and mentally every fucking day and no one cares. She gets, re she gets a reward, which are my children. But it's not a reward. It's making her crazy because it is crazy that she stole my children. And anyone who supports that and supports her, like the church, who supports the family going there and marries them, has a fake wedding ceremony and has my children participate and my kids think they're married and here mom is going through all this shit. They, you know, my kids were all upset when they found out I had to pay to see them. And then Gino had him put it in the order how I'm not allowed to tell my children I have to pay to see them um, because this is disgusting. And it's and that's what he wanted me to be doing until they were 18. And what kind of sick motherfucker tells their child who's looking at them, how much longer is this going to go on? And he proudly says forever. And this is when we were at supervised visits and my kids did not want to be going there at all. They wanted to be with me and not this fucking weird lady in the room, you know, who would, we don't deserve it. So <laughs> some lady, I'm a fucking smarter than thousand times better mom than I can fucking keep gas in my car. And this lady cannot even put gas in her car when I just gave her $45 six hours earlier for a, a, a custody exchange. Well, why didn't you put it in your gas tank? You know? Anyways, that's enough for today. Just have a nice visual of Dr. Fishman butt naked in a cowboy hat with a naked girl posted on Facebook. It must have been, I don't know what he was on that night, but memories.